In this video, we're going to take these chemical formulas for acids here, and we're going to use these rules to write names for them. If you need some background before you jump in here, watch my video called Naming Acids Introduction. HBrO4. To name this acid, the first thing I want to do is break it up into its H plus part and its negative ion part. So I've got an H plus, that's the H there, and then the negative ion part is everything else. It's going to be BrO4, and the charge on this ion is going to be 1 minus. I need 1 minus here to balance out the 1 plus from the H plus. Okay, so this is my negative ion. The next thing I got to do is I got to figure out the name of this negative ion. Now this is a polyatomic ion. It's made of more than one atom. So to name it, I'll take a look at this chart here. Now this is just a small list of the polyatomic ions I'm going to be using in this video. But it's a really good idea to memorize a bunch of the polyatomic ions. Check out your textbook, or maybe your teacher has a larger, more comprehensive list of these for you to learn. It's, it's a really good thing to do. Anyway, I've got to find out the name of this polyatomic ion. BrO4 1 minus is perbromate. All right. Now that I know the name of the negative ion in this acid, I can use these names to figure out what to call the acid. This ion ends in A-T-E. So I'm going to follow this rule here. I'm going to remove the A-T-E from the name, and I'm going to replace it with ic acid. So the name of this acid that contains this negative ion is going to be per brome, and then I don't put the A-T-E on. Instead, I replace it with an I-C acid. So this acid is perbromic acid that contains a negative ion perbromate. H3AsO3, to name this acid, I gotta figure out the name of the negative ion that's in it. So I'm gonna break it apart into its pieces. The first of these is going to be three H plus. I know that it's gonna be three because I have H3 here. So that's the first part. And then the negative ion part is gonna be everything else. So it's gonna be AsO3. Now what's the charge on this ion gonna be? It's got to balance out the charge that I get from my H pluses. I have three of these H pluses, which means that I have three plus total of charge, which means that the charge on this polyatomic ion here has to be three minus. Three minus to balance out the three plus I get from these. This is a polyatomic ion. I got to figure out what its name is. So let me pull out this chart. AsO33 minus is called arsenite. Now that I know the name of the negative ion, I can go to these rules. Which of them do I want to use? I want to use this one here, where the ion ends in I-T-E. I'm going to remove the I-T-E and put on O-U-S acid. So the name of this acid that contains this negative ion is going to be R-S-E-N-O-U-S, arsenous acid. H-F, I break this apart into H plus and F minus. Now F minus here, this negative ion, it's not a polyatomic ion, it's just a single atom that has a charge. So I'm going to use this list of my negative ions here. F minus is called fluoride. The rules for naming acids that contain ions ending in IDE are that we take the IDE off and then we put this thing and we stick it between hydro and ic. So this acid here is going to be hydro, now I take this part, fluor, hydrofluor, now I stick on an ic, hydrofluoric, hydrofluoric acid. If you're having trouble memorizing these rules here, these mnemonics can be a great help. Each sentence gives you the end of a negative ion, and then it tells you what the name should be for an acid that contains that negative ion. So my ride has hydraulics, I ate something icky, and Sprite is delicious. So learn these sentences. The rules will just instantly stick, and, and honestly, you'll never forget them again. H3PO3. This one's a little more challenging, so even if you think you're getting this down, I recommend that you just watch this one so that you don't get tripped up by it. All right, to name the acid, I gotta figure out what the name of the negative ion is. To do that, I gotta split 
the acid apart. So I get 3H plus because I have H3 there. So that's the positive part. And then the negative part is going to be PO3. What's its charge? It's got to be 3 minus. It's got to be 3 minus to balance out this 3H plus. Okay, this polyatomic ion here, PO3, 3 minus, we've got to figure out what its name is. PO3, 3 minus, and this is phosphite. Okay, how do we name this acid here? Now, based on the rules, you would logically say that we're going to call this phosphos acid because we have this ending in ITE and ITE negative ions give us acids that end in OUS. But unfortunately, this is wrong because phosphorus is an important exception here. The name for this acid is actually phosphorus acid. We have to add this little OR here in between the name and the OUS. So this is called phosphorus acid. Phosphorus acid is one of four important exceptions for acid names. In each one of these, we gotta add a little something before the ending. So the four exceptions are phosphoric acid, phosphorus acid, sulfuric acid, and sulfurous acid. So just learn these so that you won't get tripped up by them in the future. We're gonna do a few more examples of naming. If you've already got it down, just turn off the video and move on. H3, BO3, let's break it apart, find out what this negative ion is. We have three H pluses from the H3, and the other part is going to be B. O3 with a 3 minus charge to balance out the 3H pluses. This is a polyatomic ion. What's its name? Its name is borate. Borate. BO3, 3 minus. So which of these rules are we going to use to name the acid that contains borate? It ends in ATE, so we'll use this one. We take off the ATE and we call it bor. IC, boric, boric acid. One more and you'll be a pro at this. H-I-O, hi-O. All right, we'll break this apart into H plus and I-O one minus. It's I-O one minus to balance out the one plus charge on the H. What is the name of this polyatomic ion here? We gotta name it. It is I-O one minus hypoiodite, hypoiodite. And hypoiodide ends in ITE, so we use this rule here. We take off the ITE and we call the acid hypoiodid, and then OUS, hypoiodous acid. Hypoiodous acid. So that is how you name acids. You break them down into the H plus and the negative ion part, you figure out the name of the negative ion. And then based on the name of the negative ion, you use these rules to figure out what the name of the acid should be. Now, if you're having a little bit of trouble remembering the name of the acid, use these mnemonics. They are so cool. My ride has hydraulics. I ate something icky. Sprite is delicious. Stick with these and you will never forget this stuff.